Hey, I'm Sarah. Thanks for joining us at Anchored. Our passage today follows Paul as he's brought before the religious leaders, a mix of the Pharisees and Sadducees. It seems like he's managed to make enemies of all of them. Popular guy, Paul. I can't help but see so many parallels to some of today's religious people. Shouting, angry, embroiled in politics, and power concerned about matters of true righteousness. Isn't it easy to throw the religious people of the Bible under the proverbial bus? I just want to shake my head at the Pharisees. Man, they were so far off the mark. What I forget is that I am the religious person. They are me. Hold up. Me? No way. I'm a good person. I'm not like them. Am I? Well, here's the thing. Are you familiar with Romans 12.2? It says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. The gospel is not just for the unreached. It's for you and me. I believe the gospel, but is it changing my life? It changed my life when I was saved, but is it still changing me today, challenging me, helping me see where maybe I'm missing the mark? Are we open to the work God has for our hearts and minds to be truly transformed? I have a challenge for you. I'm going to warn you, you'll probably need to build up your courage a little, and you might not even like the result. Sounds pretty awesome so far, doesn't it? Okay, here it is. It has two parts. Part one, as you read God's word this week, ask the Lord to help you see where maybe you're closed off to a change of mind or heart. Pray. Ask yourself, could I be wrong about something? Part two, and this is the brave part. Ask someone close to you that same question. Is there an area in my life that I'm closed off to where Jesus may be wanting me to grow or change? And then just listen and receive. Sometimes we need a gentle guide to help us see our blind spots. Sometimes we just flat out don't want to change. May you boldly go this week into new territory with the one who is gentle and lowly. Let's keep pressing into what is good and acceptable and perfect as we are transformed in Jesus.